I've talked about my love for The Walking Dead before, but you know what I haven't talked about? The atrocity of a comic book called Art Grimes 2000. I'm okay. Yeah. So the thing about this comic book is the classic Rick move. Let's go ahead and just entirely become unconscious until the world ends. That is what he does, as everybody knows. So he goes ahead and becomes unconscious, as you do. Then he goes ahead and wakes up and there's an alien invasion and most of the world is just dead. That That's where this takes place in. But here's the really fun part. All of his friends are some kind of futuristic type of thing. So, <laughs> like, Michonne ends up becoming a mech. Why? Well, she got her head cut off and they managed to save her, but, it, you know, with magical alien stuff. But that's not my favorite part. My favorite part is when uh, it's revealed to Rick that all of his friends and family are in a underground safe house. And, uh, you know, you got like coral, as you would say. <laughs> coral with a freaking hoverboard. Oh yeah, and the governor has a hoverboard. Eugene out here, like Doc Ock with a freaking, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. He has the same exact thing going on. So anyway, they go ahead and they reveal this place to Rick. Just enough time to say, oh, this is our little safe place. And and uh, look at how cool everything is. Everybody's alive. And then all of a sudden Negan comes in and he's like, did somebody order a Negan? I'm not kidding you, he literally says that. And that's when I was like, yep. Yeah, I'm making a video off of this. I'm talking about this. <laughs> but that's not the best part. He too is also on a hoverboard. And uh, he's got not one bat, but instead it's sliced down the middle like that stupid. But anyway, back to Negan. What happens is uh, he approaches their base and everything starts exploding as it does when, you know, somebody orders a Negan. And then everybody's like, oh my God, how do he get past our defenses? And then he says, you know what? You know what? Your alien mother effing overlords have taken the night off. My friends Lou and a seal are here to do some probing. So he named both of them. One Lou and one the seal. Which honestly I can respect. Anyway, so he proceeds to murder everybody in the base. He says, you think you can hurt me? Bullets are my spinach. I'm mother effing bullet Popeye. Yep, he keeps on pulling out these things. I'm quoting these, by the way. And, uh, then... Uh, he... T he, yeah, he then takes both of the bats and he makes them go electric and uh, they merge into one thing. And uh, then he's like, Behold, Lucio. <laughs> So now we have the lore for that, I suppose. Negan's actions summoned a ton of zombies. Dot, but it didn't matter because Rick and friends killed them. You know, I think the worst thing about this comic is, and also the best thing, the reason why I kind of read it was probably just because of the very wacky, weird things that Negan says in it. He says, Lucille is a vampire bat, and I'm a vampire man. I'm a manpire. That pretty much sums it up for most of the story. I just kind of wanted to bring some noticement to this. <laughs> I'm not sure why it is a thing. I'm not quite sure, but it is. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, I think there's something to say for that. So that's why I made this. So, um, I hope you guys think about this. And I hope that, uh, you regret that it exists. So with that said, I'm gonna leave this video here. So take care of yourselves, have a decent day, and stay determined out of the way.